Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and in this video I wanted to uh, go into a little bit more detail about the features of the uh, Orion Grandview ED 80mm spotting scope. Uh, it's got a lot of cool features that are a little bit higher end than your average spotting scope, so I thought it, uh, uh, we would detail them here. So, let's get started. Well, first off is the name. It's an 80mm ED, so that means this objective lens up front, uh, if I pull off the, ca the, the cap, which is also captive, you're not going to lose it in the field, you have an 80mm uh, objective here. It's got a little lens shield that extends out to keep glare coming off from the sides uh, and also to protect it from dew. It's made out of an ED glass uh, system. It's a doublet with ED glass. So what that does is give you much better color correction and uh, a little bit sharper image than you would with a standard um, spotting scope. What happens with a standard doublet that's not ED, especially at the higher magnifications when you zoom up to the 60 power, Let's say you're using this out in the field and you're looking at uh, a white sign against a blue background, the sky, say. Um, on the edges of the white sign, you'll see a little bit of color fringing, a little bit of blue or maybe purple because it's combining both ends of the spectrum, the red and the blue, slightly out of focus because the lens can't bring all of the wavelengths of light into focus at the exact same plane when you're focused. Well, ED glass brings all of those wavelengths into focus at that same plane. So it completely eliminates the false color. And what happens is it sharpens up the image because the, the, the blue halo is basically some of the light out of focus. So you've lost that detail in the blue and the red end. So very sharp image with no false color and a very um, uh, uh, detailed image, which comes in handy if you're birding with something like this and you want to get the most fine detail on the bird's feathers or just on the view that you're looking at out the window. So 80 millimeter objective, ED lens. On the other side, is a zoom eyepiece. It goes from 20 up to 60 power and everything in between, continuous zoom. And my one of my favorite features of this is it's a inch and a quarter standard eyepiece. Most spotting scopes have a little bayonet mounted eyepiece and you can't change it out for something else. Well, let's say you didn't want to zoom. Let's say you wanted to use just a, a fixed uh, focal length eyepiece with a really wide field of view. You can drop that in here and get a wider field of view than you would at, say, the same power in the zoom. So very versatile. Any eyepiece you use for your inch and a quarter telescope will work in the uh, grand view. When you attach it in there, it's got this compression lock. So it doesn't use a set screw on the side that will scrape the side barrel of the eyepiece. It grabs it evenly and completely all the way around and holds it very securely. On top is the focuser here, and this isn't your average focuser for like, like you find on most spotting scopes. This is a two-speed focuser. Uh, we feature this type of focuser on a lot of our nicer telescopes to get a very critical focus. And so we've implemented it into the spotting scope as well. This knob here is the gross adjustment, one-to-one -one adjustment. And then here you've got this nine-to-one. So for every nine turns of the fine focus, it's basically one turn of the gross focus. So what that means is if you're uh, focusing, especially at the higher power, on a small bird out there and you want to get the sharpest possible focus, you get close with this one and then you fine tune it here and you'll be sure to know exactly where uh, the focus is to get the most detail out of the image. On the bottom is the tripod adapter. There's a little locking ring here so you can actually adjust the angle depending on if you're going to be standing behind the telescope uh, the spotting scope with the tripod or if you're going to be off to the side here. And it goes on to any standard photo tripod. It has the standard quarter 20 uh, threaded hole here. So any photo tripod would work. And then it comes with a case and the case actually is usable on the spotting scope while you're in the field. Basically there's a cutout for the tripod socket. There's cutouts in front to open up the front and use it. There's a cutout on top to focus. So very usable when you're out in the field in, in uh, bad weather. Um, or if you just want to uh, protect the spotting scope and uh, keep scuff, scuffs and scratches off of it. Now, I said protect it in the weather. This, the telescope is waterproof itself if you're using the eyepiece that comes with it. So if you're out in the rain, you shouldn't have any uh, worries about uh, uh, water getting inside. It is a waterproof design. All right, well, there you have it. This is the Orion Grandview ED 80mm spotting scope. Thank you very much. Clear skies.